Greetings family. I wanted to give a quick review on a black business and it's really disappointing what I saw today. Now, I work out in Brooklyn in the five boroughs and I was recommended this pizzeria that is a black owned pizzeria that I heard the pizza was really good. The name of the spot is called Cuts and Slices. It's in Brooklyn on 95 Howard Avenue. Now, the first time I came by there, it was the day after New Year's. They were like, oh, bro, we're not open. You know, yo, please come back again. I think the owner was there. I'm like, cool. You know, I was recommended y'all spot. I wanted to come support black business. So a week later, I'm in Brooklyn again. I come by the spot at 1115. I walk in. They yell the same thing. We not open. I'm like, all right. So some young kid in the back is like, we not open, bro. We can't do nothing for you. We not open, bro. And I just stood there and looked at this young brother like, black business, huh? Cool. I hope this gets back to the owner of Cuts and Slices. As a black man, I support black business of any kind. And I've seen this before when you go into spots like Golden Crust. It's always something with us. And I try to have patience with my people because I know it's hard. But we got to do better. Dude, I don't want to go back there. This is a black owned pizzeria. It reminds me of uh, back in the day. What was the name of that movie? The Last Dragon. Directed your pizza to uh, Big Daddy's Pizza. It's a black owned pizzeria, y'all. And it looked like the food was good. I had gotten great reviews and I wanted to support black business. And the words I'm told when I walk in the door is, we not open, we can't do nothing for you. Really? Can I tell you, I've been to places at 1130 all over Brooklyn to get pizza. And never have I had an experience like that dealing with other groups. It's extremely disappointing. I hope the word gets back to the owner of Cuts and Slices. Because you just lost one. 95 Howard Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. I'll pass.